Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to teach you how to use Stringify with Google Assistant. So you can use your voice to automate your home. So first you gotta download the app called Stringify. So go to Google Play and type in Stringify. Find the app right here on top and click that. Download, install, create an account. Once that's done, you gotta open it. So in order to uh, use Stringify, there are uh, multiple aspects to it. What you got to do is first you have to add things. Things are devices that will be woven together, either digital, physical, etc. And then you create flows to connect those things together and make things happen. So here's a list of all the things I have in my account. And in order to start, you got to add the your smart home, that's a, and then you need to add the thing called Google assistant so you click add a new thing and you have to look for the one titled Google assistant so you gotta scroll down to the letter G and you'll find it right here so in order to add it first you have to connect it but in order to connect it you have to uh, do it through, it'll tell you either do it through the Google Home app or if you are using Google Assistant on your phone, it will connect to the API of Stringify. So when you click, so what you do is first you say, okay Google, talk to Stringify. So when you do that, you will see a pop up like this. And it will say, it looks like Stringify account has not linked yet. Then you gotta tap the link saying link to Stringify. So after tapping that link, you will get a screen like this that will ask you to log in to your Stringify email address and password and hit authorize. Once that's done, you will now see that your Google Assistant is connected. Once it's connected, you can go back to flows and create a flow connecting your Google Assistant to a flow. So for example, we're going to create a sample flow. So we're going to click create a new flow. So name your flow. We're going to call it video demo. Done. Okay, now we're going to add things. So first we got to add the Google Assistant so tap that you'll see a check mark and now I'll do something else let's say weather and notification okay I'm gonna add that so you drag the Google assistant now I'll drag the weather and I'll drag a notification so we gotta configure each item so when you tap the Google assistant it will say when this happens when when you ask Google to run a flow. So, what do you like to use for the trigger flow? So, let's say you can either do the name of the flow or a custom word or phrase. So, for this, I'm going to just use the name of the flow, right? Which is demo video. Okay. Now it is going to connect to weather. So, we want it to generate a weather report. We're going to put in the location. I am located in. Baltimore, Maryland. So let's type Baltimore, Maryland. And hit enter. Make sure it finds it. Okay, report for today. Now we're going to save. So this is just going to generate the report. We need a way of receiving that report. So we're going to connect that to a notification and send me a push notification. What do we want in it? We want in it parameters. So we're going to click weather report summary and uh, let's say condition okay now we're gonna hit add now we're gonna save it and we're gonna hit enable flow so now if you would say okay Google tell stringify video demo then it will send me a notification on top of uh, my screen with a weather forecast but let me show you a step further what you could do with Google Assistant. There's an option called shortcuts. Uh, 
virtual assistant is having issue loading now because my internet connection. Okay, here it's settings. Going to go to settings and scroll down to where it says shortcuts. So this is the really cool part. So this is a new feature that was just recently added. So now, so now when I say okay Google, so now I can use one word. Let's say, what do you want to call it? Cookies? Or when I say donuts, right? Or when I say weather. Or when I say uh, forecast. Or when I say, right, you get the point. You could use multiple trigger words to do whatever you want. Now, you're going to tell the Google system what I should do. So now instead of having to say, tell Stringify to do that, you just say, tell Stringify. And now we're going to use that flow. So it's going to be called video demo. Right? And then you hit save. Then on the top of our list, we are going to see all the flows are created, and you can turn it on and off just by tapping it. Right. So now, when I say OK Google Cookies, or when I say OK Google Donuts, or OK Google Forecast, etc., any of those things will now trigger my Stringify flow. If you have any questions, let me know. And thanks for watching my review.